Always the hands. Hey. Jazzy hands. Jazzy hands. How is everybody? Hi, everyone. Where is everybody? We're here. Steven the Medium, Coachy Legs. And Olivia. And Olivia Newton John. Yes. So where is everyone today? There's a reason why. Who's hey, first? Hey, Heidi. Heidi. Yay. Heidi. Heidi, you won the prize for being first. <laughs> hey, Jane. Jane. Hey, Jane. How Almost are you? Almost winner. Number two. So I had to wear Olivia because I'll, I'll um, explain <coughs> it. Uh, this poor thing. I, allergies. I are. Bad allergies. Hey, Betty. Betty, we got everything <clears throat> straightened out about uh, the church thing. So thank you for telling me, though. I didn't realize that. So what, what was what did you have? Hey, to David. Out? The um, uh, hey, Karen. Thank you, Karen. A little Olivia. Can you focus on not, the conversation? Why not, are you not straight really? Out? Oh my god! Uh, the the uh, First Spirituals Church of Rhode Island. Yeah. I'm doing a presentation in July, but oh. there was some mix up. And the person doing the website put me as doing it Sunday. And thank God for Betty, because Betty caught it and knew that it wasn't my scheduled day. So oh. they fixed it and we're all good. So All good. Yes. All right. So how is everybody? I am wearing Olivia because, well, first of all, I love Olivia. <clears throat> but uh, secondly, Mark's show before mine, uh, the jukebox from three to five, the first half hour he, for my birthday, which is Friday, he did a little dedication for me and I got to pick six songs for him that he played. So I did like little commentaries on each song and why I picked each song. He didn't do all of them. I think he did two of them, but Olivia was one of the songs. And just because she's really one of my favorite, if not favorite artists of all time. So I had him play, have you never been mellowed, which I loved. And, um, if you don't know, you guys are all on Facebook. If you go, I think it was two years ago in April, we went to see Olivia front row, and it was uh, a dream come true to get to see her. So it was really cool. It was awesome. Yeah, it was, no, awesome. It, it was really nice. So, so for those of you who are joining, join, just joining us, uh, to not today, but Friday is Steven's birthday. So birthday. help me wish him a happy birthday. So... Let's see some hearts, send him a birthday wish. Yeah. Uh, and we'll, maybe we'll sing happy birthday later on. No. Yeah, Listen, on the radio. There, and there's big, big news, like huge news for people watching right now and people who are going to watch. Big news. This Croxies is that I made eggs. Oh. Right here. He did. And not, he actually fried eggs. And they actually, he did good. Thank you, Heidi. He did and they didn't even good. break. I asked Elix, I'm like, I need eggs. And he said, you're <clears> going <throat> to make them. I'm like, I can make eggs. And he didn't want, I love it, Jane. Yay. Yay. Um, he wanted over light and not broke. And guess who did two eggs? First time, first shot, and the eggs didn't break. Yeah, he did very, very good. I did really good. So <clears throat> now the last week of, uh, uh, or, no, June, so, when he's in Texas, I will ham, have at least one supper. One peanut butter and jelly <laughs> and eggs. And two suppers. No, yeah, eggs and toast, right? Eggs and toast. Uh, yeah, that's so, right. So that, you could also so I'm make covered for scramble two. eggs if you wanted to. Oh, exactly. So I'm covered that's for three. Uh, exactly, Croak. She's impressed. Yeah, the eggs did not even break. So look how good this is. And, you know, so last week we were late because I saved the turtle, this humongous turtle. And then that night, I swear to God, um, oh, this is spirits already starting. For what? Somebody here. Um, so, so there's a, a mother here. Who's who's mom? Um, there's not many people on here yet, but there's, there's a mom... Uh, that she just keeps wanting to see what uh, and it's a, it's it's i saw david but it's not david because it's a woman because i just heard the mom say my daughter's listening my daughter's listening someone's got a mom who's who's crossed um, Come on. who's who's lost mom very honest. raise your hand yeah um larissa we love you too hi larissa um, betty i bet your mom is crossed uh Oh my God, she's a hot shit, your mom. Can I say that on Facebook Live? She's well, a hot just, ticket. You just did. <laughs> so maybe I can't say it on, on on air. But oh my God, um, 
uh, Betty, your mom is, is she's got like the best personality and, and you're just like her, she keeps saying. So I, it's easy for me to know she's got a great personality because I, I, when we've met, I know you've got a really great personality and a lot of, um, um, I know, I know Larissa, <clears throat> Ava's friend, I know. Um, but she, she's stepping forward uh, to let you know that uh, uh, she's here. Um, Betty, someone's got issues with cholesterol. She's, she's, um, I'm, I'm, she's excited. I'm making you a tur Oh, come on. I was going to talk about a turtle today. Betty, this is so nuts. She made things too. Someone's got cholesterol issues because when I was talking about the eggs, your mother just said to tell you egg beaters. You got to use egg beaters. I don't know if this is for you or for somebody else. Well, you, but know, you know who's here? Who? Uh, croaks. Could be, no, but this is Betty's mom. This is definitely Betty's mom. Um, so I'm actually making glass now. So um, I love the turtle. There was a turtle. There was a turtle in the, I cut the grass today. I was on the tractor and there's a turtle in June that always cuts through, like in June, because we have a little lake in the yard. Um, uh, did your husband have, uh, what is your mother saying? Maybe if your husband has cholesterol, I mean, who doesn't have cholesterol issues, but she could be giving that as a, um, a reference. There's like D, D, J, Betty. I don't know if someone went by initials or there's two different, um, uh, that's cause you're a turtle man. <laughs> Betty, stop making me laugh. I'm trying to give you messages from your mother. Um, but that makes sense that your mother was got this great energy and so do you. Who's DJ? DJ. I don't know if this is like David James or if this is someone went by initials, but there's or someone's completely separate. Like there's a Donner and there's a Jim. But Betty, there's there's a um uh I hate doing Facebook Live when I'm not calling. Um because I it I you know, the person has to type and um so I'm waiting. Hey Linda much love right Hi, back to you. Linda. Betty, you're killing me. <clears throat> D the, the DJ, DJ. My Uncle David that passed. Oh, my God. So, all right. So, we got Dave, Uncle David who's stepping forward to do this. But there's also the, the I don't know if this is with him or this is another person, like the, the um, G, G or J name. Uh, um, it sounds like Jim or James or, or something like that. Hey, Rosie. So think of it, either Living Betty or uh, Cross. Just make sure you, you uh, keep that. Um, there's, a, there's also a dad Betty here steps forward for you too. So your dad's gonna be Cross because he's, he's a dad figure. Um, see, B Betty's making turtles, so she's not responding. So Betty, let's, he had a friend. James. James. Oh, Uncle David had a friend James. I got it. So just know, um, yes, dads, they're too. Yeah, because you know what? Sometimes dads will step forward and say, listen, I'm not grandpa, I'm dad. Because so, sometimes I don't know, but your father was very, very clear. Like, it's dad, it's dad. So just know that he's stepping forward. I'm like, yeah, mom and dad, I'm like, I'm about to do a show and do readings. And you're just jumping right on. They didn't want to wait. Yeah, your mom, Betty, your mom and dad are just jumping on the bandwagon saying, come on, I got to, you're, you're doing them anyway. So you might as well just start. So, um uh, well, Betty, what's the up and down? That I, I, your your mother and father keep putting me in an elevator. I'm like up and down, up and down. So when I see an elevator, it's either someone there's a story with an elevator, or maybe someone worked. Um, uh, it could be Betty. Someone worked for 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 like doing elevators, or um, uh. You know what, Betty? I know what it is. Your mother and father, someone who, whose, whose health was just up and down, like it was good and everyone was happy, then it was bad, then it was good, then it was bad. It, it, she keeps connecting, your mother keeps connecting me to, to um, hey Janice, keeps connecting, hola Eva, to um, uh, health, up and down. L like getting all excited that it's better, it's better, and then going back down. So, um, Betty, my brother-in-law so so, so your brother-in-law um crossed and and his health was up and up and down 
it's just like my I feel good, then I feel lousy, then I feel good, and then I feel lousy. Um, haircut, Ava. <laughs> we talked about that last time. And new style. I needed it. It's not a new style. Oh, please. You change your style every day. I, every time you do your hair. What time is it? It's like my show running and there's no one there? No, we have three minutes. We got to um, get going soon. No, he's here, but not. Oh, not oh so well. not doing oh, well. Okay. So, Betty, if that makes sense, that his, he's kind of up and down, <clears throat> up and down, just know that it's your mom and dad just, you know, making sure that they're watching over him and anyone else who's connected to him. So, uh, Betty, what's the ring? Your mother talks about the ring. I, it, um,. Oh, yeah, no, thank you for the validation. The ring, it makes me feel like a wedding or a diamond or, or engagement. Something with the ring that was that your mom and dad are talking about. So, um, Sophie, just give me give me the the um, uh, the ring. I need to know what this ring is. So, hey Mary, hey Mary Ross, how are you? I don't know what the ring is though. So. Um, Next time I do this, uh, I'm going to do it like I, I usually do and have people give me their numbers and I can call. I just wore her wedding ring. Oh, my God. Really? You just wore her wedding ring Sunday. Yay. No, from, what, if you do it from here, we can actually connect with that person. What was that? If we do it from the phone, we can connect with that person. I, I don't... I don't know what you mean. But Betty, I so cool is that that she knew about the ring. She kept saying, talk about the wedding ring, the wedding ring. So she knew that you wore it Sunday. How great is that? So what were you saying, Alex? Like I think that if we do it from the phone, we can connect, you know, to that person. No, no it's gotta be the regular page. It can't be the mediumship page. Oh, okay. No. So hey Robert Lyon, how are you? Hi but Rob. I, I think we've got to move over. Betty, how cool is it that your mom just wanted to bring up that you wore her wedding ring Sunday and that she wanted to bring that up. So it's so so wild. So, so she's let's like, get ready hey. because we So we gotta head show over to the station without you. Yeah. That's not good. Yeah, the show is about to start without Steven. So um, we are moving over to the studio. Again, if you are looking for a reading, uh, 508 222 1320 is the number to call, and lines are going to be opening very soon. I already started doing reading down there. Like, they usually wait for me to do the calls. <laughs> Huh. You never know. How cool is that with Betty's ring? That was awesome. Awesome. Uh, we, we're, okay, so we are on. Well, no. no. Another men of her When actually could be its mildest in the mid and upper 60s, then trying out for the day. I'm having issues here. With clouds and sun, windy though, a high of 70, but one of the two Okay. So we're in the studio, just about to start the call. Right, 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 right. Olivia, you see everyone. Olivia, Olivia. So I gotta. I will. Um, when the show starts, I'll actually explain why today I'm wearing Olivia. Not like I need an excuse, right, to wear Olivia, because I love Olivia. So, Julie, this is my first time watching you guys. I just have to say you're very entertaining. Hey, that's really nice, Julie. I'm so glad you found us. It's 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 wonderful to see like new people watching and um, okay, fun to do readings. So for people that don't know, I'm switching over to the radio station as the show starting W A R A or go to Stephen the Medium and you can actually listen live or keep listening now. Good afternoon and welcome to Through the Static. This is Stephen the Medium and I am here with Coach Elix. Hello everyone. And with Mark producing the show. Hello Mark. Hello, Mark gives Mark. a big wave with his Bruins jersey on. And you know, we're sending, I'm starting the show off with saying we're sending all the energy, the good energy to the Bruins tonight so that the Bruins end up being um, champions. So, right? That's right. It's, it's a great How about thing. Big Poppy? I know, big bets. We, we got to send some good energy towards absolutely, him as absolutely. well. Absolutely. Thank God he's he's okay. So, But so we started Facebook Live, and normally, um, you know, we start Facebook Live 10, 15 minutes before the show, and normally 
it's I think we started Facebook Live December of 2018, 2018, right? And they've never really started, uh, Spirit's never started on Facebook Live. They usually wait for me to get here, then people call in and I do readings. And usually Facebook Live is like checking in, talking about stuff. Well, Miss Betty that was on Facebook Live or still on Facebook Live, uh, her mother and father had different um, ideas. They were like, mm, you're going to be doing the show anyway, so let's start now. So it was really cool. And what I love is that um, Betty's mom brought up her wedding ring and I asked Betty what's going on. And Betty said Sunday she wore her mom's wedding ring. How cool is that, right? That's so, awesome. And you know what? I get so excited. I mean, yeah, I guess I am like a little boy. Every time we do the show, I'm so excited. I love the fact that we get to do it. We get to, I get to do it with you. Um, Elix and Mock is here. It's like the best team. And just knowing people are listening, it's I love it. I love, I love doing this. But I just quickly have to say that uh, Mr. Mock on his show um, before mine, uh, the jukebox, he last week said to me, which um, I thought was so incredibly sweet. I know it's so incredibly sweet that for he does his show is for two hours, three to five. So three to three thirty, he allowed me to pick six songs that I could play. And um, when I, it was, I'll tell you, if someone tells you to pick six songs, it is so difficult. It's just, I mean, especially for me, because music is really a muse to me, especially connecting to spirit. So it was really difficult because they're all attached to things like memories and whatnot. But I ended up finally picking six songs. And of course, I started with a um, lot of love with uh, um, Nicolette. I had to because it's one of my favorite songs. But there were also the reason why I selected that for the beginning of the show. Never mind that I loved the theme song was that it's a memory of me being with my uh, cousin Holly, who I talk about all the time, was really Sister Holly that's in Florida, and she means so much to me. And we were sitting in, you know, we were kids sitting in my mother's back seat and singing A uh, Lot of Love. And I'm not sure if she even remembers it, but we were heading to La Salette Shrine. It was Thanksgiving, and the tradition was Thanksgiving night, we would go to La Salette Shrine. So I needed to, to do that song, and of course, I needed to do Olivia. That's why Facebook Live saw the Olivia t-shirt I had on because we went to see Olivia a couple of years ago front row because she's my favorite there's no way a list could have no Olivia she's my favorite artist so um, then I did uh, uh, wishing on a star Rolls Royce because it's a, a childhood memory and it's um, that song has something very specific to a friend of mine Laurie um, so Laurie will understand that and I did Dancing Queen because that's very significant to my best friend Paul J. Martin who on the commentary to, to mock I put I couldn't do this I couldn't really go this path without him you know because he's my best friend and there were two left one was Rose with Bed Midler because it was dedicated to my grandma Rose my dad's mom who I never met and she was already, you know, crossed over before I was born. But this woman is like I did meet her. She's with me. She's the number one spirit support for me. She's with me all the time. And when I, of course, was listening to the show, I was really excited about it. And when Mark said this was for Stephen's grandmother, Rose, and it was very appropriate because today is National Red Rose Day, I almost fell and collapsed because I thought, here I am giving back to Grandma Rose, and then she turns around and gives it right back to me. I had no idea today was Red Rose Day. I don't even know what, I didn't even know there was such a day, but how is that? And then the final song, um, which is this little song that I put together, so that was it. So let's move on. The final song was Endless Love, and I said to Mark, I have to end with Endless Love. Um, because it just the lyrics to that song are am I really being sappy at the beginning of the show as for Coach Elix listen after 26 years that's just the way it is right that's so, right but what's up with you uh, nothing nothing <laughs> nothing <laughs> no just it's after all, all this well, I, I do after, and 20, like after 26 years I've learned that you know when it's your birthday it's all about your birthday for the whole month of June. So I've learned that. I think that it should be. Even though today's not my birthday, it's Friday. It's Friday, but June 14th. But, you know, I've learned that when you say what's up, what's up, it's, it's your birthday. And we celebrate every day. 
Well, I don't think that's a bad thing, right? I think it's a, not. everybody should, that. at least a week, right? At least everybody should have a birthday week. Absolutely. I mean, Nothing I, I wrong with personally that. think it should be the birthday month. June is my month, right? It's my, it's my birthday. It's Flag Day. Also, I was born on Flag Day, so that's also something. Every day it's your day, Stephen. Yeah, After something. Twenty six years. Every day is your day. Mark's just laughing and smiling because you know what's he knows really it's interesting. True. All my adult life, and even as a kid, um, I was born on Flag Day, and up until maybe like seven years ago, was the first time someone actually gave me a flag. I think that's really interesting that I never got a flag. Like nobody in all the like birthday presents, not like a little flag connected to the package, you know, because it's Flag Day. And then seven, eight years ago, I remember someone said it's flag day, so here's your flag. It's kind of oh cool, God, right? Mark. <laughs> help, help us all. <laughs> help us all. But anyways, if you are on Facebook Live, send some love to us. Give us some hearts, some likes. Share um, our Facebook Live. Please. With your friends and family. And uh, send Stephen a, um, a birthday wish. But really, it's Friday, even though I'll take the birthday wishes today, right? Absolutely. All right, so it's 508-222-1320, and when we get back, um, we'll be back after break. <clears throat> Okay, let's see, let's about, see who about we About a minute early, but it sounded like a good time. So. It's good, Mark. <laughs> you know what you're doing. Uh, Abby oh, is 508-222-1320. We have calls? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah? Okay. So it's always good to have calls, right? Right. Let's see. Hey, Dell, how are you? We have somebody hey, from Tom, Scotland. Tom Ayot, Thomas Ayot. What do you say about chocolate? Go up. Something about just don't give him, let him have chocolate. <laughs> oh, I know, Tom. I know all about that. Um, that just goes to show you that Tom knows me for a long time. Yeah, no and kidding. Tom, I still do that. Karen, uh, let's see. Thank you, Karen. It's a little Olivia. Chelsea May, how are you? Chelsea, how are you? Uh, and Ruth Matthews. Hi, guys. From Scotland. From Scotland. Yay! Hey, Ruth from Ruth. Scotland. Welcome. I, I love it. I, I love it. I haven't watched it, Ruth, but um, before I came, I just kind of gave a, did a preview because, um, no judgment, I watched The Bachelorette, and they, this episode, they're going to Scotland, so I'm really excited to get to see it, so, via TV. Hey, Dale, he does, so. What? Celebrate Hi, your birthday Abby. all month. <laughs> Hi, Julie. I, I think, you know, everyone should, right? Listen, every birthday that you have, it's a celebration that you're still here. Absolutely. And especially if you have your health and you have gratitude for anything and everything, it's good, right? So give us some love, guys, some hearts, some likes, share, 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 so that, you know, we can make the Facebook algorithm work for us so again share. i love the hearts yeah i and love the little it fireworks and the love lights it, love it's it love really, it it's really cool and uh keep keep sending birthday wishes to steven uh and again 508 222 13 20. chair chair uh oh the number is 508-222-1320. I have a, we, we, I have a shared doubt. Well, we've, we've seen her in concert. We're not going to her new concert, if that's what you mean. <laughs> no, I mean, but it was great seeing her. Yeah, we And seen, I think Cindy Lauper was uh, her opening number. Opening number. Ruth, 508-222-1320. Thank you guys for all the hearts. Do you know years ago I was in Warwick, Rhode Island at Dell's Lemonade? I swear to God, I only have 30 seconds. This was years ago, like in the like late 80s or early 90s. And a limousine pulls up as I'm with a friend at Dell's Lemonade. And Cindy Walper gets out and comes right behind us and orders Dell's Lemonade. And like, like what? And but that was before cell phones, so it's not like I even have a picture of it, but it was pretty cool. Tom, are you making fun of my accent? Because if you are, we're going to delete your ass from... Okay, kitty. Tom's going to be banned. Yeah. All right, bye. Bye, don't go. No, I'm talking to Tom. Bye, Felicia.
Welcome back to Through the Static, and I think I'm ready for a uh, first call. Hello, this is Steven. Hi. Hi, who's this? this is Tina. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Hey, Tina. Happy birthday. I, I, I was, uh, Spirit's already, already playing with me. I was just about to say, hey, Tina, happy birthday. I, I'm thinking it's your <laughs> birthday. So, Tina, thank you for saying happy birthday, and thank you for being my first caller. Um, but you know something, Tina, there's something with a birthday connected to you. There's a dad stepping for, is your dad crossed? Your, your dad, um, talks about a birthday and I don't know what he's, why, um, is Tina, is there somebody connected to you that has close birthdays or like something happened on someone's birthday, like someone crossed close to someone's birthday or something to do with birthdays? Um, my brother-in-law's birthday, he was close with him. Oh, that's what it is. Oh my God. So, so this was your, this is your brother-in-law? Yes. And, but your brother-in-law is here? Okay. Wow, that's so wild that your your dad. The first thing your dad was like something happens on someone else's birthday. I didn't. I had no idea it was my birthday. <laughs> so it's it. I, I love it. I love it. So so your brother in law's birthday is June fourteenth also. So how how wild that dad's just giving that as a um, a validation. So um, Tina, there's 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 also a. Um, in addition to your dad, there's another there's another male stepping forward, a young male um, who is crossed, and someone who just left way before their time. And he's he, I keep asking him who he is, like what his name is, and all he keeps doing is circling you. He's he's just he's he's like playing. He's he's got a really good sense of humor, but he he just keeps telling me that he's always with you. And there's a Jim James. Who's John? Who's the J? The G J name. Connected. Uh, I don't know. I do have two male friends that did pass early. Uh, uh, it could be Greg. Wait a minute. Is Greg one that passed? Yes. Oh, there it is. So the GJ name. So no, it's Greg stepping forward. Okay. Yeah, just no. Oh, my God. He, he's he's out of control, Tina. He's, he's um, there's a lot. Of, I don't know. You said you have two guys. Someone's smoking weed. This has got a lot of. Oh, Got a lot of, I can smell it. I'm like, dear God, you're in spirit and you're smoking weed. So did, did, did one of them smoke weed a lot? <laughs> well, well, Tina, they could also be just giving a reference to somebody smoking weed here too. So just to, just letting, um, uh, no, I'm not, I, I, they wouldn't get, I was going to say that they wouldn't give secrets, but really they do. So, but no, it's not, I don't mean it's you. It just means that it's just giving that as a, as a validation. Who's Chris, Chris, Christian. Who's, who's this? Who's, who's the, 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 uh, it sounds like Chris, Chris, Kristin, Christian, Chris connected to you. I don't know that could be someone that's passed over named Christian or Chris. Oh, Christine, either, either crossed or here or living. The, I have a cousin, Christine. Okay. Oh, that's what it is. Okay. It's, it's you know, sometimes it's just, um, like in this case, dad is here, um, as well as the, your, your, your two buddies who take care of and watch over you. It just could be dad just giving a, a reference to someone who you're close to. And um, uh, it's more, Tina, just about letting you know that they're with you and they're, they're watching you. Um, uh Tina, uh, what are they saying? I, I honestly can't tell if this is dad or these are the two guys, but let me just tell you what they're saying. They're showing, they're showing me, um, um, just did, did someone or does someone drink a very, very specific liquor? They're showing me a bottle and there's, there's initials or something very unique with the bottle or does someone collect bottles? Do you know? Pat, Pat is your brother-in-law. My brother-in-law, yeah. With with the same birthday, okay. Um, uh, 
Yeah, you, you, because it, it, your your dad shows me like a bottle and then shows me like JD, like Jack Daniels. So there's there's a initials or something on a bottle or someone drinks Jack Daniels. That there's there's um, you don't know anybody who's who like that's their prime drink, Jack Daniels, either living or crossed. <laughs> did, did, well, just know that it's you know it could be someone for her coming through, or it, it also could just be um, um, your dad just giving a reference to. Um, did did she lose a brother or a brother in law? She lost her father. I don't know if if that's well because it, it's not. I wasn't sure if it was like a Bob or a Bill name or it was brother. Oh, oh, Tina. So, okay, I got it. So it's just it, it. It's all about dad, for you. It's just all. It's it's all about dad, and just and just making sure that um, you know, it's, Tina. It's interesting that he he needs, uh, he need. I don't know if this is going to make sense. He needs for you to know that he's always around. I don't know if that's because you're missing him or that's because of the the relationship. I don't know. Do you understand that? Okay, as long as you get it, Tina, that's all that matters. So, um, and, and dad, is all, it was all dad letting you get through the first caller. So, your dad just said, Tina's getting through and end the story. So, um, so <laughs> just, just make sure, when you talk to your um, daughter, I mean, your, your friend, the Jack Daniels girl, um, ask her about a brother uh, there's a there's a there's a brother figure that uh, maybe it was a really good friend of hers, but he is he there's a brother. F Do you understand that? Yes, I'm good. Yes. So so. It's all sense. And, and the name might be Chris. Oh my God! So there it is. So just know that he's just giving whoever this is is just giving a big shout out to her too, and that he he loves her and he's he's with her. So um, is is your mom here? Yes. Uh, she's. Your mom, wait a minute, your, mom is, your mom's crossed? My mom has died as well. Oh, you know, right before I was going to end the phone call, ma, a mom just stepped forward, and I was thinking, is this a, 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 a mother-in-law? But also, it's ju just your mom. Your mom just said to me, um, there's really, I mean, there's not much she needs to say because you know she's with you all the time, and how close, you guys, you must have been really close, Tina. I love it. I love it. I love it, Tina. So, you know, and that's why I always tell people that, you know, you, you really get what you need in these um, calls. And it, I guess apparently you needed to hear more. Whatever the message was from your dad, you needed to hear. So if that makes sense. Perfect. Perfect, Tina. Listen, I'm so glad you got to call in and say happy birthday to me. And uh, I'm going to leave you with lots of love. Oh, thank you. All right. Thanks, Tina. Bye-bye. Let's go to the next call. Hello, this is Steven. Hello. Hi, who's this? Hi, this is Paula. Hi, Paula. How are you? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Birthday's in a couple of days, so how can I not do well, right? Yeah. <laughs> Why, thank you, Paula. So, um, so, uh, Paula, 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 wow. Um, there's a lot of spirit around you. Um, I, I don't even know where to start. I, I, I've already got like five things to say to you and, and I'm like, hold on, hold on. So, Paula, is it, why am I outside? I'm standing outside. You're standing outside right now? Yes, yes. Um, you're waiting for a bus or hitchhiking? What are you doing? <laughs> Okay, it's so weird that they brought me outside and want to give that, stop that as a, as a, a, a validation. There's a dad figure. Um, he says, "Dad, dad," but is, your dad is here. No, he's not. Oh, yeah, oh, so this is this is dad. Um, your your dad is letting you know that he steps forward. Where's Stephen? My name come in. Where, where does the name Stephen come in? 
for you. Okay. Um, sometimes, sometimes, as I mentioned in, in the last call with Tina, sometimes like dads, moms just want to validate family members just to say that they're talking just like as if, if they were here. Um, um, what is, what is your dad saying? Um, does, 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 does someone, uh, I don't know what this is, Paula. Does someone dance or did someone used to dance or do pageants or something? I keep getting like a crown on my head. So did, no. did someone either crossed or living? It makes me feel like it's, it's a little girl. Um, and I don't know if this is someone who now is an adult or it's someone who's got two kids. Where's the two kids come in? Okay, so all right, I got it. So Stephen is the, the the cousin or nephew. Who is this? I forget. My nephew. Nephew. Okay. So all right. So this is your sister's son. Yes. Okay. And so that's what they're talking about with the two kids. So I'm I'm just getting pulled over to your sister's side. But is 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 Stephen's sibling a daughter, a girl? No, no, a son. So she's got two boys. Oh my God, Paula, there it is. That's the crown I kept seeing. Like, yeah, I kept seeing like crown, Miss Universe, Miss, but there was, it was stage wise. So I know this was like a long time ago, but spirit doesn't have any essence of time. So they'll say any memories in, so this was your sister. Yeah. Okay. So it's just a way to give it, give it as a, um, a validation. Where does Florida come in? Oh, that's where it comes in. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, I just you're, you're, I just heard your father say, just say Florida, she'll get it. So, so it's just it. This is all, this is all about just saying, um, giving validations. Paula, you you are very connected to spirit. You 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 connect very very easily. And what is with the birds? Your father just said birds. The birds. What's the birds? I love it. I love it, Paula. So listen, just know that that wasn't really the bird. It was just dad giving you a beautiful tune. Because you connect so easily, spirits tell it. There's, there's, um, did someone have a coin collection? Oh, Paula, wow. This is all, this is all daddy's girl. It's all about dad just giving this love, how much he, he loves you and, um, and how he talks to you every single day and is with you every day as well with the, the family and how proud he is of you too, Paula. So, um, I've, I've got to take a break. So I'm going to leave you with that, but lots of love, Paula. Thank you so much for calling. Okay. All right. Thank you. Alrighty. Bye-bye. And we'll be back. Okay. Bye-bye. All right, so some inside information. The Puerto Rican has just completely disappeared. He does this a lot. This may be like a trend with Elix that he just takes off. I don't know, maybe he's got like a like a lover or something. He takes off and goes into the back room. I don't know what the hell he's doing, but he just disappears. So you just got me, that's it. So, But how about Paula? I mean, how wild is that that I always tell people that spirit will generally bring up random things stuff that we have no idea why they're bringing it up but we understand it and something like paula's sister years ago was in pageants and that's what dad brings up and so many times why spirit does that is they bring that up because those memories are so heartfelt because dad was here then so he got to watch it he got to to, to, to love seeing it and just like just like when, when we're still here and we think of memories Memories. Maybe moms will think of, you know, you always see on Facebook or people talking like, I wish my kids were young. And just because the, the, those memories, that's exactly what spirit does. Same exact concept, um, only it's spirit talking as opposed to someone, you know, living, talking. So, um, hey, Janine, how are you? Mari, hola. 
Let me see if I can back this up. Hey, Bernie! Bernie! I still haven't... Thank you, Bernie. Still haven't been able to see the, the um, raccoon. You need to take a picture and send it to my mediumship page. Um, going over to the site to listen. Hey, I'm glad, Robert. Um... Mary Ross. Oh God! It sounds like my brother-in-law. I keep telling him he he wants to talk. So let's take a moment. Do it when he's off the phone. You know, Mary. I wouldn't um I wouldn't be surprised that anybody who's listening on Facebook when I'm taking calls. Spirit will sort of do Are double, triple validations. Um, so if a brother's coming through for someone on the phone, I gotta get back on on um, on the show, but I'll have to finish that thought um, when I'm done. Well, there'll be dead air. Mm, that's not good. <laughs> I won't have a show much longer. Classes held during the day, evening, yeah, or on Saturdays. Huh? Yeah, you are. our website, the you never know. I'll find com, or call. <laughs> 508-226-3603, The Literacy Center, Building a Better Community. And welcome back to Through the Static. How cool is it for Facebook? You can kind of see me looking up at Mark and he gives me hand gestures to say when to start talking. The whole radio business is really, really cool. And before I take a call, just a big shout out to Worcester Probate because I haven't been there in a while and I know my two very good friends, Jeannie and Teresa, listen all the time. And everybody else that does listen, because I couldn't go through every single name, I miss you guys very much. So, all right, let's go to the next call. Hello, this is Steven. Hello. Hi, who's this? Hello. Abby. Uh, uh, what was the name? Abby. Abby, how are you? I'm good. Good. I'm glad that you got through and that we're talking. And if you listen to the other calls, um, get ready because Spirit's on a roll today. They're crazy. I'm ready. <laughs> I love it, Abby. It's good. Um, uh, just like Paula, the previous caller, um, your energy um, is you're you're a healer. You, I just tuned into your auras, and you're very healing. Um, so I, I, I need to say that because Spirit's telling me to say that. So you, have you ever taken Reiki? I've been told that. Yeah, I mean, you, you've never taken Reiki or taken any classes? No. Wow. It's it's interesting that um, I get keep getting pulled to, to healing, that it's just, it, it's an innate with you. It's just, it's automatic. So, all right, with that said, um, why am I starting off with one, number one? Do you have, is there one child? Is there something in January? What's, I, I get, a grandmother steps forward and gives me one, the number one. One, one, one. Is there something on August 1st, November 1st, a first? What's the house number one? Oh, your grandmother's just like, uh, she knows, she knows, Abby knows, my grand, my granddaughter knows. So, okay, my grandmother's always the first. Um, the number one, I'm not sure. Just, um, no, that's usually n not what it is. Um, it, because it, it feels like it's, it's, a, it's, it's attached something very specific. It's not, even though your grandmother just, just gave you a big hug when you said she always comes through first. Um, she loves that. She's giving a, a great validation. Um, that's not, that's not, uh, um, a, 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 v. So hold on to the one because your grandmother said, you know, um, uh, it, 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 so let me just quickly say, Abby, because it's important for me to say this with the one, it feels like it represents something. So in other words, someone crossed like February 1st, March 1st, or birthday on the 1st, or there's something very significant with the one that, one stands alone, your grandmother keeps saying, the one stands alone, like a license plate with just one, or a house number one, like in the past, now. So just make sure you keep it with you. The, the also... A, A, V, A, I keep getting, I don't know if this is um, one name, like Ava, or this is two separate names, like A as in Anne and V as in Vicky. So there's, there's your, your grandmother keeps showing me 
A A V. Um, did anyone did anyone connected to you ever do um, like dune buggies or bikes? Like it could be, it could be the past. It could be someone who's crossed. Um, my, my uncle rode motorcycle. It doesn't feel like it's a motorcycle. It feels. It. it I'm asking what the the AV is. Um, and that they're, they're. I'm trying to figure this out, and I, I'm not getting much help from them. But just just keep it with the keep the the. Um, uh, no, it feels like it's initials. Who, who's like the Ann or Angela or Anthony connected that has like, and, and, and then there's the V name. Do you, I, is there someone connected to you like Vinny or Vicky, Victoria, so, something either living or... My little brother has passed. He was Vincent Vinny. Oh, there he is. So, oh, I'm sorry. So you, so you have a, a younger brother who's crossed. Oh my God, Paul, uh, Abby. Um, so, so just know that that Vinny is here, um, and he's he's also he's out of control. I love this brother, Vinny. Um, it just he's it's it's important for you to know that he he's running around like crazy. And I said, uh, is there a reason you're doing this besides making me dizzy, Vin? And he just said that no, just tell my tell my sister how how like free I am, how how happy I am in spirit. So I don't know like how that connects. So so we got the Vinny. So then there's also the the A name connection here. Um, so so sometimes even. Um, uh, Abby, it can be like a middle name, or it actually can be a last name. So just, just keep it with you. Why am I seeing Jesus? <laughs> That's good, right? It, well, Jesus is always good, but but there's a reason why I'm seeing Jesus. Does someone have like a Jesus picture, or you know, a couple of weeks ago I did a reading and I kept seeing Jesus, and there was a connection with um, someone's favorite like musical was Jesus Christ Superstar. So if I'm seeing Jesus, there's a reason for it. Or there's Jesus on a cross. That that's what it is. Who's got the Who's got Jesus on a like? It looks like a funeral cross, and Jesus is on there. Someone Someone is validating that. So just Just um, uh, oh, your brothers are bringing me to the to, to the services. Um, yeah, they're bringing me to the service, Abby. But who, who, who was buried with something? Like, so someone was buried with something, like a card, or well, what is this? Um, th there's something with on me or with me, and I don't know if they were they were you know if they were laid out or if they were cremated. But prior to any of that, there was something put with me or on me with with, with somebody, and and it may. It, it, Oh, so you put something in? Yeah, yeah. I tied a bandana on my brother's head, gave him a cigarette. <laughs> I love it, Abby. It's just a way that it's just a way that both brothers are saying that they know about it. Um, and but what's the card? Did why do I keep seeing a card? I don't know if this is a playing card. Do you have a, like a um, connection with playing like playing cards? And there's nobody like in the family cross that were like avid card players. If that's not what it is, then it's a card. It's it's a written card. But there's your brothers keep talking about the um uh the the car. was there a car connection? Why why can't I breathe? Like was there a car connection to these to the brothers? My older brother died in a car accident. Oh, there it is. I keep one of the brothers keeps showing me the car outside and says, "Talk about the car. Talk about the car." Um, because wow, so, and this is this is the older. Um, and we, we, who's Don or David? Who's the D? Who's the connection to you? The the, the D name, David or Donna? Don, um, living or crossed, Abby. Just make sure you you keep it with you. Um, it could be one of the brothers' friends, or. I, I, you know, significant other, but there's a there's a a D a um a D. Was there questions on one of the deaths? Is there still questions? Um, not really. Well, then if, if it's if it's not the brothers, then there's a death here. In in um, what was that? 
Who's Donna? Was one of my hair salon owners that passed away on a cruise ship. Oh my God. Oh my God. And this was Donna? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, Abby. So know that Donna's stepping forward. I kept getting, I get a very specific sign um, with question marks. That means that there's still question marks of how the person crossed or people are not believing it or, or there's suspect or, so this is, oh my God, so this is Donna. Wow. So, so, so no, and no, I love your two brothers because know that your two brothers brought Donna through. Donna was like, I don't want to cause any problems. Um, but your, your brothers, your brothers brought Donna through. So, um, how wild is that? And, and there's, um, yeah, I mean, well, it's, a, it's first and foremost, it's a way to let you know that the, the two brothers are, um, always with you. Um, why did your brothers show me three? So are there three all together with three left? Is there something in March? What's the three your brothers keep showing me? Oh, there it is. So you your three kids there. So how wild is it, Abby, that the your two brothers to prove and show you that they're watching, protecting, they're also giving a big shout out to your three kids. How cool is that? To let you know that they they they, they are watching. Um, did did someone just do something with the tire? What's the tires? Your brother said your tire. Your brothers are showing me the car and show me tires. So does so, someone is did someone connected to you? Do just do something or have a blowout or have to fix a tire? Or is someone mechanic like someone work on on cars? Well, I don't know if that would be it, Abby, um, unless it's someone who's really close to you. Close. Did you date? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> he, their brothers are giving me all the information. They're like, no relationship. Tell, say relationship. So. That's exactly, Abby, why they would bring it up is that they're letting you know that they know and they're watching and all you need to do is, your brothers just said, my sister is going to be one of the smartest, sweetest, empathetic people, Stephen, you'll ever meet. And all she needs to do is just stop with her soul, listen to her heart, and also make sure the confidence of what you bring to the table is always front and center. And then you'll have no issues making that decision. That's all you need to... to and Abby, make sure you take you 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 keep those brothers. Um, I know you always do, but make sure you talk to them. All they want is they said if my sister remembers anything, just have her remember. Please say hi to us because we talk to her all day, twenty four seven, and you can't have better guardian angels than you have with these two bros. So. I love it, Abby. I got to take a break, so I'm going to leave you with that. And so much love to you, Abby. Thank you so much for calling. Thank you. Alrighty, bye bye. Oh my God! Did did you guys hear? And again, I don't know if you can hear the calls. This last, if you can't. This last woman, Abby, why did I say it like that? Yeah, Abby. Abby. <laughs> that's going to that's gonna be like a blooper. That last call, I'm Abby, okay. has, I kept saying, who's Don, uh, Don, David, Donna? And there's a question mark about the death. And it was a woman that was owned a beauty salon, I think she said, Donna, who went on a cruise and died. And there's questions about her death. How amazing is that her brothers that came through actually brought this woman, Donna, to let everyone know that Donna's coming through too. It's wild, isn't it? And, and it's so cool. So, well, Heidi, I told everyone at Facebook that you're having an affair because you keep leaving me, right? Oh my God. On my birthday too. I'm see how, devastated. See how needy he is. No, I, I had to take a business call. Um, you know. he, he's allowed. So. He's doing so well. David, it's 508-222-1320. David, I would think you would know that after all this time. 
time, David, Stephen Hesanichi knows he's going to have a fight or he's a fool. Actually, either one, it's a 50-50. He fights with everyone. David, and I love that you just said that because that was, that was my mom. Even my mom's still here. But that was my mom saying. Anytime, if I would say I have an itchy nose, she would always say you're either going to kiss a fool or get into a fight. So <coughs> fight with everybody. I'm okay. just loving. Yeah. Croaks, I'm, just, I'm just a loving. Are you still hey, listening? Hey, Carolyn. Uh, let's see who's... Heidi, he's gone. <laughs> Elix is missing in action. No way. No, I just had to step out. I couldn't... I can't take a call while he's on the phone. Um, Heidi's like keep, keep, keeping track of me. All right. Everyone. Let's see. 508 to 221320 again. This time goes by so fast. Sure you you oh, Abby. Abby, thank you. God, I can't see it. Thank I you. I sure miss my brothers. Oh, Abby, thank you for calling. Your brothers did such a great job, but oh my God, are they with you? You've got the best support system in spirit. That's so wild. Yes. I love it. Susan Dame is validating that you don't fight with people. Croaks. Mm -hmm. What's that? Oh. Sorry. I'm just chatting again without the... Uh, It's going to take a lot of... And welcome back to Through the Static. You may have just heard me singing, and that's not a good thing. I'm really, really great with talking to dead people, but singing, not so much. All right, listen, let us um, let me take the next call. Hello, this is Stephen. Hi, Stephen. Melissa, how are you? I'm doing well, too, and welcome to Through the Static. So, Melissa, let me check in on what's going on with Melissa, because these readings have been crazy, Melissa. Um, um, Melissa, uh, even before I get to who is stepping forward, because there's a, a lot of... Wow, my God, there's a lot. There's a woman here stepping forward, but... Um, Melissa, I keep sh your um. This feels like a grandmother figure stepping forward. Is your mom's mom crossed? Yes. So it's it's. But your mom is still here. Okay. Um. So it's definitely grandma. So the, the maternal side. Um. Was, was Melissa was there f falling or someone falling? Do you remember? I'm as I'm asking that question because your grandmother. Now I don't know if if your grandmother's doing this say it's her because it may not it may be somebody else but your your grandma keeps making me look outside and um she has me like standing on the curb and i and my foot falls and i fall and either i sprain an ankle or hurt myself or maybe this is just a fall is is this does someone somehow connect to this do you know No, no, but did, but did she do like, did she do something? Did she do something that may not have looked as bad as it actually was? Okay, all right. I I I just feel, I just feel like she's bringing it up like, and it could be her that she's talking about. Like I fall and then I get up. But then I don't realize like there's a bruised rib or something or 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 a, a fractured hip or something or I I don't know what. Oh so. Oh so it's definitely grandma then okay I got it, um. So it's just letting you know that it is her stepping forward. What where's the rose come in or roses? Perfect. So, uh, of your grandma's? Yeah. Oh, wow. I love it. I love it. So that's, it's, it's um, just a way, a great way to let you know that, that she's stepping forward and it, it really is her. Um, uh, Melissa, do you, does, do you connect to, to fire or like firemen or fire station or I, I, 
I feel, oh, there it is. So, it, but is this dad's, grand, dad's mom? Oh, so it was still with her. So her, so your uncle was a fireman. Wow, but he's crossed. Oh, he's still here. So, no, no, but just, it's a beautiful way that grandma's just giving a big shout out to her son. You know, as the fireman, I could, I honestly could feel heat and fire all around me. And I'm like, grandma, what are you doing? It's hot enough in the studio. I'm dying. And she's making me feel like you really feel hot. Um, there's, there's congestive heart failure. Who is this? So your dad is crossed or he's still here? Oh, so it's a way to, that dad's stepping forward. Um, you're, you're, you wanted to hear from your dad? Um, he, he, well, he just, the reason why I asked, I mean, of course, I would kind of imagine, not that everybody would say yes, because, you know, you never know relationships, but, but your dad just said, um, um, she would have thought I came through first before grandma, but, but. Oh, so that's why he's saying she expected it again. So, so know that, 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 that dad is, is here. So, um, and giving you a lot of, a lot of love. I don't know what it is with these initials in this, in this hour, but, um, I keep, your father keeps talking about S, S as in Steven, B as in Billy. So the, I don't know if this is like a, a full name, like Sabrina, cause it's an S and a B or it's two separate names, Melissa, but just make sure you hang on to the S and the, the B name. Um, is, is there a Sarah? Can, not living or cross connected to you? Um, why do they say yes? Is there someone you work with, Sarah? Oh, well, who's Saraya? Oh, there it is. Um, wait, did you test me, Melissa? <laughs> so there... What? Oh, my God, the SB. Oh, wow, that's what it is. Now, and who is... This is your stepdaughter? Wow, uh, incredible. So know that your dad's just giving that as, a, as, a, as a, a beautiful validation. There's a watch. What's the watch? The, the, your father says, talk about the watch. S -s there's something with the with the watch. Um, I don't know if this is a watch handed down. If someone just bought a watch, but there's a there's something with the watch. I don't. I mean, Melissa. I don't know if this is like a pocket watch, Melissa, or a regular watch, like a a, a wrist watch. But there's some something something to. Um, uh, oh, but you know what he's doing. Your father's focusing more on not the watch, but the time. The timing, there's something, something timing wise. Um, I don't know if what he's saying is that like a watch or a clock just stopped working recently. Um, just if it doesn't make sense, just keep it with you. Yeah. But there's so something with the, the time. Melissa, was there, and I don't think this is your dad, but was there somebody connected to you that died and no one found them right away? Like someone that was alone, and it may not even be family. It may be a friend. It may. When I just asked, I just asked your dad, "What are you talking about with the time?" And he's, and I don't know. I, it makes me feel like he may be talking about somebody else wanting to come through. And it, it makes me feel like someone dies, and the timing. There's something to do with the timing, like like someone doesn't find them, or um, or because they don't get to the hospital in time. There's an essence of timing that he. He talks about, um, and this is in reference to uh, like, uh, I think a grandfather because you, you, they wave the flag, so it's military. So do, do you do you know like your, your grandfather's in military? Um, do you know how he died? But, but was, was he, was he like at home or do you remember?
Right, right. Okay. I got it. I got it. I got it. Why he's saying? I I understand, Melissa. Your grandfather's the reason why your grandfather's bringing that up is that I don't know if this is your um, mom or whomever, but someone someone has hung on to like if they got him faster, there. Wait, he was by himself. Oh my God. Oh my God. So that's the, that's got to be the timing issue, Melissa. Um, so I'm going to, I'm going to leave you with that and uh, so much love to you, Melissa. And thank you so much for calling. Alrighty. Bye-bye. Um, you told me to keep some time, right? I, I did. I mean, it's not a lot of time, but at least Mark last week said, can you cut, cut the show a couple of minutes short? So if anyone was waiting, were there people waiting? I'm sorry. I will definitely get back to you next, next week. Next week. Yes. Uh, I just wanted to say quick, uh, happy birthday. Why, thank you. Moment. Are you going to sing happy birthday? <laughs> no, we don't want to do that. No. Um, I just want to say quick, Stephen and I met almost a year ago, mm -hmm. um, I knew nothing about you. Ignorance is, you know, something I guess. We, we, were, <laughs> we were in the meeting in the boardroom yeah. and uh, getting set up for our shows. And Stephen pitched his, you know, what his show was going to be about. And I was like, oh, okay, that's kind of cool. And figured <laughs> I'd listen to it, you know, once or twice. Uh, I came in to train the week before Stephen's show started, and uh, Jim Jones, our manager here, said, uh, could you do your show on Wednesday from 3 to 5? And I said, yeah, fine, okay, you know, why not? And he says, well, I want you to stay an extra hour. And he <laughs> says, I want you to produce this guy's show, okay? <laughs> and I'm like, well, okay. And he's like, you know, his, his name's Steven. He's a medium. He's going to take calls on the air. You know. I love it. And I was kind of like, whoa, okay. <laughs> you know, my biggest fear was messing stuff up on your show. If I mess up like my show, fine. You know, I did. But he oh, was, that's cause, nice. Because he was saying, you know, you're going to take calls and. You know, all of this stuff. And, and you haven't. I mean, you've been... Well... Uh, well... Well, a little some bit. Of the, you know, here and but there. you've been amazing, Mark. But one thing I want to say to your listeners, um, I had an amputation done on my big toe on my left foot because of an infection. And I was in a rehab hospital in Norton, and I was pretty down and not feeling that great. Mm -hmm. And Stephen and Coach Alex came to visit me one night. And it was just brought my spirits up so much that they took the time out of their busy schedule. And I never forgot it. And, um, I, on the occasion of your birthday coming up, I wanted to just say to your listeners, you know, thank you so much for doing that and being a friend. I, I'm the luckiest guy in the world. I get to listen to this show every single week. You, I think you just wanted to make me cry on, on <laughs> the radio show because... Which is not very difficult. Well, no, it's not, but, but Mark, thank you. That means a lot, you know, wow. that Elix and I wanted to come see you and um, every day I appreciate... And I just, I appreciate this whole station... I said it last week, I appreciate these guys that are incredible, and most importantly, I appreciate you because you do this, you know, and you volunteer your time so that I can do this and Elix can do it, so love you, Mark. Thank you. Thank and I think, you, I think we're over, right? So, yeah. Uh, yeah. We are over. So next week, we'll be back. I'm at Stephen the Medium. I think I'm going to have some news next week on something coming up that I'll tell you next week. And um, Coach Elix, yep. website? Performance Coaching by Elix. Or you can find me on Facebook as or Instagram as Coach Elix. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you next week. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Thank yes. you. Happy hands. Sorry, whoever we We'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Sorry, whoever we need.